everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 4 of Direwolf20's Let's Play of Minecraft for version 1.21. Uh, today, we're going to move out of this hole in the ground. Uh, real quick, I want to show you, though, I, I made a little bit more Ferrocore, uh, and uh, I had the bad luck of my Primogel goo uh, burning out from doing that. So like I said, Primogel goo and all the goos will eventually um, run out of, um, of, of energy or whatever you want to call it, food. Uh, and they'll kind of like weaken and, and, and need to be refueled. So you have to just feed it either the sugar that's shown on there or the zombie flesh. Uh, but we're not going to waste our time doing that. Because the other thing is when you break it, uh, you have to feed it when you place it as well. So if I fed it now and then I broke it to bring, uh, you know, back to my new base... It wouldn't go so well. So, you know, we're going to just kind of leave it. Actually, I'll probably just leave it here. Um, only because I want to finish building my base before we do stuff. Um, and I figured out how to rename Waystones. Um, it actually works kind of... Ooh, is it nighttime? Yeah, I should sleep through that night. Uh, I figured out how to rename Waystones. It works exactly the same as before, except the UI is a little bit buggy. Um, so if we shift right click on this dude... Uh, I guess I need an empty hand. There we go. There's actually a thing here. Um, and I can name it, you know, new home. And you can't see it, but, like, it worked. <laughs> so, uh, you know, such is the newer versions of Minecraft. There's always a few bugs going on. Uh, so my plan for today was to, like, quickly get uh, a new base up and running. And then I was going to do something that I've never, ever done before in modded Minecraft. I'm kind of excited about that. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what it is just yet, though. You're going to have to wait and see. Cool. That looks pretty nice, right? Yeah, I mean, I'm not, a, I'm not an amazing builder, but, you know, there's... I was going to say there's worse out there, but that's probably actually not true. Okay. So we'll finish building this up. We will get this built up. Oh, I think we're out of cobblestone. I, I have a little bit more, though, right? I think I do. There we go. Cool. And then I can break these dudes. And now I've got kind of the beginnings of my basic house, right? The, the standard dire house. I mean, this is a Dire World 20 Let's Play series. You should have expected this house to appear. The standard 9x9, nine nine. and then what I'm going to eventually have is on this side of the house over here, uh, we're going to have uh, the, the long version of the of the structure that has, like, you know, the other stuff in it. So we'll, we'll, we'll be doing, like, you know, the standard building, dude. Uh, and then you are ready to go here. You're going to be a range of 7. Uh, and this time I'm going to actually turn on fuzzy mode, which means you can replace blocks that don't match the block you're looking at. So by default... Um, fuzzy mode is off, meaning like when I'm looking at dirt, I can only replace dirt. When I'm looking at stone, I can only replace stone. Uh, but with fuzzy mode turned on, it'll just kind of do the whole area regardless of what blocks are there. Sweet. Um, and then let's put this guy down to range one. That looks like a not terrible house, right? Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that setup. Okay. Okay, I can make this work. Yeah, I think I'm cool with that. Uh, let's get a quickie door and a pressure plate. And then the other thing I did is I got a cut and paste gadget. Um, and I'm going to actually move you now. We're going to stick you in the corner. And then I can do new home. And that probably wound up down here, but that's okay. We can move it. Sweet. New home. Cool. Looking good. So you know what? This is doing something weird, too. Um, so I'm thinking there's another mod causing this, and I don't know exactly what it is. I don't think it's Waystone's fault. I think something else is messing with UIs. Let me look at that real quick. Aha! Now that's interesting. Look at that. Everything is kind of much better now. Uh, so the so the way I fix that is if you go into Options, Accessibility, Menu, Background, Blur. Um, I'm, I'm wondering if I need to do something to make this not be a problem. Um, but yeah, that, that happens. But then if I um, 
go to this and turn off menu background blur. That actually seems to fix a lot of UI issues that I've noticed, especially when things were paused. Yeah, accessibility options. Like, see how weird they're th the icon, they're, they, they get like extra dark and look up here on the map, it like gets these extra dark crosshairs. Uh, but if I turn off menu background blur, everything is way cleaner. I think that's, I think that's a solve. Okay, anyway, cut and paste gadget uh, is a cool way to move large swaths of terrain um, or, you know, your house or something like that. Uh, so all you have to do is click on one corner of an area and then click on like another corner of an area. And then if you want, you can edit it to like bump the Y level up a little bit more. And then this area will be removed when I hit cut. Did I not have enough energy or something? Oh, there it goes. Nice. Yep. Hooray! Goodbye, cut. Looking good, right? Uh, now, if you want, you can repaste it in the world. Uh, easy peasy. Or uh, you can choose not to do that. You can just cut a new area. So I'm going to go do that. I'm just going to, like, clear out a big, big old chunk. How's about, how's about this? Does that seem cool? But I want it to be a little higher, maybe even higher. And we'll like clear that terrain out. How does that sound? Oh, right. If you already have something saved, you have to click it twice because it's, it's meant to like pick up and move area, but like you can also use it to kind of like clear large areas, which is probably a little bit cheating. That's not quite what it was designed for. Now, also in fairness, and as an important note, uh, you're not going to get these resources. So, like, you know, no sneaky, just, you know, getting a whole bunch of blocks out of this. Like, the, we're voiding them by doing this. But, you know, I think that that's, that's fair. Uh, so I'm just going to clear you over to maybe, maybe here-ish. That seems cool. And then whack it. Yeah, cut and paste gadget, a pretty sneaky way uh, to go ahead and clear out large areas of terrain. See, that feels really nice now. That looks way cleaner. And I'll just go ahead and use you. Uh, and I should also note that we updated the pack a little bit. Um, so a couple, couple tweaks and improvements, including that thing that I said I wanted to fix last episode should be fixed now, which is almost, almost. So some things got done, but there's a few other things that need to be added to the to, to the to-do list. So, okay, quick note, got to get that. Hey, now that looks pretty cool, doesn't it? I think so. All I need to do is get a healthy amount of dirt um, to exchange it in. So what I'll do is kind of put you guys away. Um, these rocks can be just trashed for now. And then uh, I don't have a ton of dirt, but I, you know, have enough. So what I'm going to do is bump this up and hit fuzzy mode, and then it'll only exchange dirt, um, you know, when I'm looking at stone, right? It'll, it'll only swap out the stone, which I think is pretty cool. Right uh, now, the red overlay means you do not have enough dirt in your inventory. So, mm, I need more dirt. Do I have enough to just do these two? Yeah, buddy. Okay, cool. So now, what I think I'm going to do is move. Um, so, let's do that. What I'm going to do is head home to my old home, which I'm going to bump up one marker point. I'm going to look forward to the point where I don't take damage when I teleport anymore. That'll, that'll, that'll be cool. Um, so let's let's relocate. So probably gonna want my bed. Uh, let's put away all the stuff that like, all this stuff, right? I want, I want everything to be organized in their appropriate inventory slots, um, specifically because, and, and maybe like you can go here as a memory slot. Cool. Um, yeah, that looks pretty good. I don't think I need these doors no mores. You can go in there. 
and then you guys can sit down there. Perfect. Now, the reason I wanted that is I wanted a nice empty inventory so that I can easily, um, you know, grab, grab something right out of the chest. I'm just going to put that in there for now and eat. And then I can just pick all that up, right? Nice. And then new home. And oh my goodness, it's dark out. That's right, I should probably make lights. Uh, yeah, probably to do that. At least for now. Until we get something a little bit fancier. Oh, and I need glass. I need like a healthy amount of glass. Um, so you're gonna chill here, buddy, and you're gonna get um, all this stuff. Okay, and then you, that's where I always put my bed, which now I, I both set my spawn and pass the night, so cool. And I'm going to go move the rest of my base over here, and then we'll be back to do the thing that I said I'm going to do that I've never done before in Minecraft. Never ever. Excited. Very excited. Not going to lie. Pretty exciting times. Be right back. All right, now that I'm all moved in... Uh, I'm just gonna swap out a little bit more dirt around here just so that like, you know, things look nicer. I, I had a bunch of dirt in my, uh, in my chests at home, so might as well. Looking good. Is that? It is. Gimme. I need more coal. I'm, I'm actually like a little bit low. Like not a lot. Uh, I need more coal. Wow, that is a really slow to mine vein. I wonder if I'm gonna break my pick. I do have a plan for when and if my pick breaks here. Um, yeah, no biggie, no biggie. Hey, look at that, bunch of cobble. I could actually use it. <clears throat> Cause I need to build the rest of my house soon. But you guys go in there and that looks cool. I went over to the beach um, down here and cleared out a bunch of sand. So that I would have, you know, sand because I need it. Yeah, see, not like super low on coal, but also like not great. Uh, so I can take you out and you should recharge everything for me. And then you're out of out of fuel is the reason I needed more coal. So we'll, uh, we'll get it at some point. All right, I think we're good to go. So should we start looking at doing the thing that I said I've never done before? Yeah, let's do that. Um, so I'm waiting for a glass to smelt so that I can make a roof. Um, so yeah, that's... You know, that's actually a thing I'm going to do real quick is get that finished up is just the rest of my roof. All right, so glass now. Not too shabby, right? Yeah, very simple, standard, traditional dire 9 by 9 So what do I want to do? I want to take a nap and then I want to go find some kelp. Where, pray tell, could I find some kelp? Uh, I suspect there would be some over in this oceany area, right? I, I should be able to find kelp over here, hopefully. I mean, it's a pretty big ocean. Um, so what I was going to do was probably waystone. How about I waystone to Zed Cloed? That sounds cool. Zed Cloed. And then we can just head up to the ocean here and see if uh, we can find any kelp. I should also consider checking out that 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 cool. Oh, that might be kelp. Is that kelp? I, don't know, I can never tell. There's lots of there's lots of plants in the ocean, and with modded Minecraft, you really never know. Though that might be kelp, right? Oh, that's kelp. Now, if I had more kelp, that would be great. But if that's all the kelp I get, I'll survive. Um, totally think this pickaxe is gonna break soon. By the way. Ideally, I would upgrade it before it broke, but I don't think I'm that close to getting from the nether. So my plan is, A, I want to test the upgrades dropping out of the pickaxe. Because what's supposed to happen is when the pickaxe breaks, the upgrades that are in there, like ore miner, should pop out. We'll see if that works correctly. Um, and then B, uh, I would just make a new pickaxe at that point and install the upgrade because, you know, you don't lose the upgrade, so that's cool. All right, what do we got here? Is this lapis? Is that normal lapis at this level? Yeah, I guess we're at 61, so... It's not too surprising. But I want, like, a bunch of kelp, so I'll be back in a minute after I harvest, like, a whole lot of it. You know what I should have made before I did this was a magnet. That, that would have been smart. And a magnet's kind of on my, like, near to-do list anyway, so I should have done that before. 
Yeah, yeah, let's do them all. All right, I'll be back. All right, and when I got back, I realized my furnace is still running. That's right, I never chunk loaded this area. And now, now that I have a proper home, I should probably claim some chunks. Um, so the benefit of claiming chunks is that, A, when creepers explode in them, they don't actually hurt anything. Uh, and then you can mark them for being force loaded, which means machines will keep running when you uh, aren't there. So good plan all around. So let's put you guys away. And I got some raw tuna from Sushi Go Crafting. Well, that's interesting. How does that work? Um, I'm curious. I don't know sushi go crafting all that well, but I really should, you know, figure that out. Uh, so I can get tuna fillets from a cutting board. Um, and then I can turn that into some good food, apparently. Not terrible. Sweet. All right. So another thing I need is soul sand. Huzzah. It's got to be more than a little soul sand here, right? Yep. Definitely. All right, now the other thing I'm gonna need, and I think once you see what I'm getting, you're gonna kinda come to the conclusion as to what I'm making. I found another one of these guys. I would like some of these, please. Have you figured it out yet? Should be pretty obvious by now, right? I think so. I think, I think, I think you can guess. Now this is exciting. There's blocks of coal in this one. That I'm gonna harvest. That I'm very much gonna harvest. Remember when I said I'd, I needed more coal? Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna do that. All right, quick note that I moved my sugarcane farm over here too while I was uh, getting stuff cleared up. Um, so what am I making? I'm making a water elevator. Never made one of those before in Minecraft. Never ever. Uh, excited to try it. Uh, only, only because I've, I've actually, I, yeah, I've never made a water elevator. Isn't that weird? I don't know. Maybe. So what I'm, what I did is I got a bunch of, um, water buckets and soul sand, or, uh, magma blocks and soul sand, and water buckets, obviously. Um, also acknowledging the fact that clearly I only need one of each of these, but I was like, well, I'm over there, let me grab more. Uh, I should also turn these blocks of coal into stuff. Uh, so what I think I'm gonna do is get my goo, um, out of the chest here. And I'm going to have to feed it, so I'll get some rotten flesh ready, too. Um, I think I'll stick him in just in this corner for now, because I don't really have a, a spot planned out for where he can... Oops, wrong stuff. Where he can live, but I'll figure it out. Um, so you're going to convert these guys. Sweet. That'll be cool, actually. Um, because that, that'll be a lot of coal. So what I want to do is kind of dig straight down because remember my problem was that I ran into a skull cave in my last location. So what I'd like to do is set up some kind of like mining area over here where I can, um, you know, water elevator my way down. So I was thinking like maybe like over here so we'll have just like a little elevator stood up and basically the way I want it to work and, I, and I'm trying to remember exactly, but I, I think I just want two pathways, right? And, and one will go up and one will go down. Is that, is that right? Now the trick is uh, we use kelp to make this happen, right? So first things first. Oh, cool, coal. I don't mind more coal. I'm happy to take more coal. But I'm just gonna dig straight down real quick. You know, that thing you're supposed to do in Minecraft all the time. Now the, the question will be, how do I get out of here? Yes. So should I put my water bottle first at the top? I think I probably should. So what I'll do is kind of position you. I might I might need this to be taller, but that's okay. We'll figure it out in a minute. Well, that's going to be annoying to do, isn't it? Yeah, a little bit because of the slowness of mining. Hmm. All right, new plan. I'm going to make sure I can get back to my base from bedrock. Uh, so to do that, I think I can make... And I've been wanting to make these anyway for a few minutes. Uh, and it's going to use up one of my ender pearls, which is a little bit of a bummer, but that's okay. Um, so I, it's waystones, right? Now, the other thing I could do is warp scrolls, which would be what? Warp scrolls. Sneak. So I can use these to just like... And this is like a reusable one? Yeah, I think so. So it's just lapis, source gems, and parchment, which needs mage bloom fiber. 
which I can get from Mage Bloom Siege. Uh, it's a little bit getting into Ars Nouveau. I'm not quite sure I want to do that just yet. So what I'll do is the Waystone way, and then we'll probably do the other way in a bit. Um, so Warp Scrolls. Return Scroll bound a new home. So Return Scrolls are cool because they'll always teleport you to the nearest Waystone. So I'm going to make one of these because it's super cheap. Uh, and doesn't need an Ender Pearl. And hopefully I will be close to the closest Waystone, which will be my base, and that'll... And worst case, worst case, I can always just, you know, teleport to the nearest Waystone and then use that Waystone to teleport to my base. Is that... Is that a plan? I think so. Uh, so in order to do that, I'm going to need some squid ink. So let me go find some squid. All right, pro tip, the river near my house has no squid in it, but out here does. Uh-oh, bad guy's showing up. Let's get out of here. Also, pro tip, before you go hunting for anything, make sure your sword has more than one durability on it. All right, so what I should be able to do is this and that, and then return scrolls, and that should be cool. And I'll save the extras of these for later. And how am I on Ferrocor? I'm not terrible. I think I'm going to make a Ferrocor sword. Does that sound cool? I think it sounds cool. Oh yeah. I think it's a little better than a normal sword, right? And then I make it have a little bit more damage. Yeah, so this is six, uh, and this is six and a half attack damage. So slightly better damage-wise, and more durability as well than a regular iron sword. Um, plus has some cool abilities, which we'll uh, check out in a bit. But right now, don't really have the resources to go crazy on them. And the goo died while making the next batch of coal. So I'm just going to keep doing this, and now I'm going to go dig down. So like this is going to be my mining cave area, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig all the way down. Then I'm going to do the water elevator thing. All right. Bedrock reached. Not too shabby. Okay. Uh, and it's, it's, it's the soul sand is the one that goes up, right? Pretty sure soul sand goes up, right? And magma is what pulls you down. And my iron pick broke halfway down, so I had to make a stone one. So that's that's fun. Okay, so that's cool. What I'll probably do is something like this. And then we want to put, like, signs here or something, right? And that's how you get out. So I'm just going to clear out a little bit more space. Literally never done this before. First time ever. But, you know, the first time for everything. Uh, so you're going to go here like that, right? And then that should keep the water in there. Cool. And then the soul sand goes here. Sweet. That's cool. You know, I, I, I've always liked the idea of ele water elevators. Never actually made one. So I'm excited to try it. Oh, that's cool. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. That was super cool. Definitely need a better pick, by the way. It's alright, I found some iron on the way down. You come into here. Ooh, 21 iron, actually. Not a bad haul. Okay, looking good, right? All right, now we come here and we drop this guy. Now we're going to want to go all the way up to the point where I've... So what I'm going to want, and maybe I'll do this with glass because I think that would be cool looking, right? Um, what we're going to want to have... Or something like that, right? Um, so that I can then, you know, get out of there. Um, now, we don't want the water spilling out the front, probably, but let's see. Are you going to do that? You're kind of going to do that. But if I do this, you should not. 
I thought you would just carry on carrying on. You do that? Well, I could do the fan the, 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 the signpost thing here, couldn't I? Um Okay, now for this to work, uh, we just have to really hope that we don't die of drowning. And if we're gonna die of drowning, wow, that is, that is not ideal. Oh, I can't do that. Okay, hold on. I'll do that. That works. That's how I'll survive. Wow, I got I got really <laughs> really far down before I uh yeah, we're going to have to That's gonna, that's going to not be fun. I'll be back in a sec. Like I said, never done this before. So I'm, you know, oh, hello. I guess I beat the water down. I did. Yeah, okay. Uh lights please. <laughs> Need a little bit of light. Okay, cool. So now the trick is you put kelp down, right? And kelp will turn turn these dudes into water, uh, full-blown water sources, right? I believe that to be true. Yeah, I think so. Uh, now, should I consider adding a waystone down here for a temporary use? That could be cool. I could do that. Yeah, we, we should do that. All right, so now what I want to do is kelp all the way up, right? Um, and if I if I do it correctly, it should be cool. Um, how hard would a water breathing potion be? Just need a puffer fish, which I could get with bamboo. Yeah, but I don't have the I don't have the blaze rod yet. That's right. Okay. Um, This might be rough. But it shouldn't be too bad, because in theory, I do this, and then I get oxygen, right? And then I'm cool. And then I just break this. And that's how I do that. Cool. And then when we get low, we do that. And I know it's dark, but, you know. Never done one of these, but I'm kind of enjoying it. It's not that bad. Sure do need a lot of kelp, though. Well, in fairness, I'm on top of a mountain. So my 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 thing's gonna be taller than most people's. Let me out, let me out, there we go. Hello, time to sleep. All right, so now let's test this, right? If I go down to the temp location, or here, I can break that, right? And then we're ready to water elevator our way up. Should we give it a go? Whoosh. Oh, that is cool. I dig that. And you get you get oxygenated from the water bubbles? That's even cooler. That is even cooler. All right, so I'm just going to need another bit of signage, and then we're good. That's cool. All right. And then all we need now is like, you know, a matching one on this side. Oh, we're one short. Actually, I have some glass already. 
but I could sm uh, I could probably be convinced to cook up a few more. You know, if we use the right amount, it should be fine. Cool. And then we can do sign and sign. That works, right? So then that's your up, and now we have to do the down one. So I think I'm gonna do this off camera, uh, but basically it's just a repeat of what you just saw me do, right? So I, you guys are cool if I just do this off camera, I think, um, but then putting the magma block at the bottom, obviously. Uh, so what I'm gonna say is for now, Down with 20 is signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time. I'll have uh, a nice little uh, way to get up and down into my mining shaft, which is really deep. And then I'll go down, I'll probably do some mining between episodes two, um, and we'll see what happens next time. So for now, hope you guys enjoyed it. And take it easy.